I'm Tony Waitley from the Love Day 4x4 Adventure Park. I'm over here in Melbourne at the National 4x4 Show. Come over to do an extreme show with the boys from Love Day. John Bidwell from Bidders 4 Wheel Drive here. We've been doing some hot laps in the Action Arena. Brooks has come in and built a bit of a track. We've gone out and fixed it up to make it sort of suit what we want to do out there. Been doing some driving, ended up doing a few jumps, had a bit of fun. The track we've built here is a mixture of loader tyres set up as a bit of a staircase setup. We've also got a double tabletop jump, something a bit different that we haven't had. You've got to commit to it, there's no half-heartedness on it. And but on the other hand, the normal cars can roll over it, no worries. We've got some mild driving rocks for the demo test cars, poof cars as I call them. And we've got some more hardcore type rocks for the rock cooler. It's not going to challenge them at all, we know that, but it's out there to give the crowd a bit of a taste of what Rob can do in his rock crawler. Got a couple of car bodies over the other side there. We'll probably drive over and squash down a little bit. And... Set of moguls over there, and the big containers set up for the motocross boys as a down ramp. We'll drive up and down it, but it's good for the punters to get in and have a bit of a ride around in a car and check it out. We had five or six cars out there. We had a couple of Outback Challenge cars, Winch Challenge Series cars, Vic Winch cars. Also had a rock buggy out there. They kept trying to get stuck on top of the tyres and the rocks. But he had a lot of fun. Instead of bringing our cars over this year, we opted for buying a heap of Range Rovers, British junk. We're going to see how they go. We bought three Range Rovers and one Toyota 60 Series Land Cruiser. We thought that's probably about fair. One versus three. Hopefully the Range Rovers do actually last as long as the Land Cruiser. We've also got a Ford for Steve for Dougie and we've also got a Daewoo for Backy. So the Breaker Brothers will be out there on their two-wheel drives again. We've actually mounted roll cages in all of them on Thursday. We bought over pre-made bolt-in roll cages, folded them all in and then welded them up. So all these cars are fully roll caged. Love those specifications too. Um, we had to do a bit of work on some of the cars too, new spark plugs and we had to put petrol in one of them. Dougie, to everyone's surprise, has actually got the Ford Steve in reverse over the tyres. Um, first time went great, second time he actually rolled it, but that's all cool, we got the DP chip roll cage on it. Uh, I, I'm trying to stack. <coughs> first attempt at the double tabletop jump sort of set up, fell a bit short, it was a very hard hit. Um, but come out of it all right, learnt a lesson, got to go a little bit harder to clear that one. Backy in his flash, Daewoo went over there and thought he'd try the cars and only got as far as the bonnets of the cars and lost a bit of traction and filled the arena chocolate block full of smoke but the crowd did like it so that's what we're here for. Young Toby out there in his rangey, like always, blew the shocky straight up, bouncing around all over the place but he's a kid, he's unbreakable, so he's enjoying himself out there. And he reckons it's probably a little bit easier to drive Dad's big car. He doesn't have to worry about breaking this one. We've got Sanson out here in his monster truck. He's out there jumping up on top of these cars, crunching them down as he does it. Crowd cheering, big loud truck with big wheels. Everybody loves that. And he's also got the wheelie deep here. Now that's pretty impressive. Rear mounted motor set up to get the weight over the back axle. Hand throttle, two brakes, one for each wheel. So once he gets it up on the back wheels, he can just control the throttle to keep it up balancing and then steers by locking up left or right brake to turn around. Very impressive as he sort of heads across the lawn and does a lap around the container on it. And yeah, he's got some good accuracy the way he drives that. Some of the sponsors that have helped us get out there, I'd like to thank Grana Off-Road, I'd like to thank Gigglepin for their winches, I'd like to thank Mark's Adapters, and I'd like to thank the wife and kids for coming out today and having a ride as well. I don't think I scared the wife too much. And of course I'd like to thank Simon at 4 Drive TV for setting this all up. He told me about it about six months ago, and it's all come together and I think it's all worked pretty well. <laughs>